This is crazy! You may have seen these spinning round boats go viral on social media and wondered who would want to do that. Yep, that's me. If you're also an adventurous solo traveler, you may be wondering if this is something fun to do even if you're alone. Keep watching to find out. You've reached the destination. Welcome to Cam Tan Coconut Village in Hoi An, Vietnam. There are several ways to book your adventure here. I chose to use Airbnb experiences where I found Mr. Happy, a Da Nang native, and I only paid seven US dollars for what you are about to witness. <laughs> My Mr. Happy started immediately with the tricks. I think he was just trying to distract us from that other company that was way more turned up. More on that later. We have arrived at the action. First, the professionals and their super colorful boats. They put on a little show for us. Then they collect tips, so make sure you bring some cash. After that, they start looking at the crowd and choosing. I watched this guy do it first, and I thought, that doesn't look so bad. They definitely were choosing me. They were all pointing at me like, come on. Thank goodness for live photo. My Mr. Happy did not speak English, so he misunderstood when I said record me in video. This is three live photos stitched together. Good enough. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> It's scary at first, but then it gets fun when you realize you aren't actually going to fall in the water. But then you're dizzy and you gotta get back into the other boat. Hey, if you're enjoying this video, can you stop right now and hit the like button? It would really help me out. Okay, so after that, this is a spoiler. So if you don't wanna know, if you wanna be surprised when you go on this, just stop right here and leave a comment about how much you like this video. But after you spin around, you pull up at a party in the middle of the water. All this chaos and this man is like, mm -mm, it's nap time. <laughs> so this so far is the most fun thing I've done in Vietnam so far. So far. Highly recommend this, even if you're solo. <laughs> Don't worry if you're a little shy about the round boats, you can get in a regular boat and cruise through the coconut groves like this. The guides have no problem taking tons of photos for you, so don't worry about that either. 
Okay, ready? Ready? Okay. 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 Let's go. Okay. Rain. Okay. <laughs> Rain. Woo. Whoa. Woo. Rain. Hey. Rain. Hey. Rain. Hey. Rain. Hey. Rain. Whoa. Rain. All right. Rain. <laughs> Rain. 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 Woo. The ride back through the narrow parts of the coconut forest is really peaceful. And you're going to need that peace and quiet after all of that spinning around, yelling, and EDM techno music. It's become super popular on the ground. You know how that goes. Sometimes it's like overhyped. But... The hype met expectations. This is more fun than I thought it was going to be. Especially since I'm so long. It's actually really, really a good time. So what else goes on in this famous little village? Oh, I'm glad you asked. <laughs> I went with was fine. The guy was great. We had a good time. But I noticed the yellow shirt company made the most lit. The most lit. I guess the green shirt are okay too, but the yellow shirt company. I'm not gonna pretend that the same microaggressions and little things don't happen here like they do in China, just to a lesser extent. Bow. Hello. Bow. Bow? Huh? What is bow? Oh. One bow. No. Thank you. My cousin. No, it's okay. Bye-bye. <laughs> Such as a lady walking past me and just simply picking up one of my locks and I was like, ah, ah, ah. don't do that. She came back. Ask for a picture. Here's a video of that. <laughs> Ask where they were from. They're from here. They're from Hoyan. So. That's a little weird to me. You should be used to seeing a lot of foreigners here in Hoi An, but I know, I know I'm special. I am a special babe. I'm a special type of rare breed that doesn't travel these streets far often enough. So it's fine. But one other thing that just happened is somebody pushed me really hard to like clear the way. I'm pretty sure they were Chinese. No offense Chinese people, but y'all be doing a lot when you simply just want to move around somebody. Like you don't have to physically do it with your body. That will trigger a very violent response from certain people like me, okay? I took everything in me not to just, you didn't have to push me that hard, okay? You could say anything, excuse me. You could just grunt. I know y'all like to grunt. Don't put your hands on people, okay? It's a bad idea. All right, so I've seen all of this coconut village. I think it is absolutely, oh, look at these pomelos over here. I think it's wonderful that the locals here are able to capitalize off the fact that their home is in a coconut grove. <laughs> Make all the money, do all the things, sell all the clothes that we've seen a thousand times. I would say if you're gonna come here, there's really no need to do anything else except for the boat ride. That's not true. On my second visit to Hoi An, I came back here because I wanted to fly my drone. One, two, I really like riding on the back of motorcycles. So I took a motorbike here and that was fun too. Three, I wanted to see behind the scenes. Now that the crowds from January are gone, what else is going on over here for real? And you know what I discovered? Money. There's some wealth over here. Some of these houses, super nice. That is a whole swimming pool.
The house I'm standing in front of is really nice as well. This time I paid 30 dong, $1.30 to enter the village. I walked into the end of the road and then I got to this little shop. I bought a coconut and I just flew my drone until I was done. It was actually really relaxing sitting out here, watching all the boats go by, talking to people on the boats. Hey. What? Hello. Hello. <laughs> USA, Vietnam, I love Vietnam. <laughs> um, it's all the same stuff as far as what's being sold in these villages. Clothes, shoes, they're often really nice houses, I've noticed, made with the coconut roof. So that's cool, you can see some different architecture. There's some little boutique hotels you can stay over here if you want to. Don't think that's necessary since it literally takes like 15 minutes to get here from the old town. But if you want to stay here, I'm sure it's quiet at night. And all the coconut, all the coconut water you can drink, all the coconut meat you can eat. At the end of the tour, they gave me a coconut for free. So that was, I don't know, I think that was a good deal for 50 yuan. It's like seven dollars. I'm happy with the value for purchase. Got a good coconut. I got some good photos. I had a good time. Yeah. What more can you ask for? It's kind of wild. There's so many Koreans here that they have the, ma the majority of the tour guides have a shirt on that says I was Korean. My ride is here. Drop a motorcycle emoji in the comments if you made it this far. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. See you at the next destination.